Hi everyone, it's Jim, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf in beautiful Chilliwack, British Columbia, Canada. Today's video is going to be about some advanced features in Direwolf. I'm going to set up a two channel operation which will effectively give me two modems in Direwolf and then I'm going to show you how to put a beacon out over RF. Last time it was just through the internet, this time we're going to put it on RF. Let's get at it. Okay, so this is my Draws desktop here. One of the neat things about the Draws hat itself is that it comes with two Mini DIN 6 connectors, which effectively means I have two sound cards on this Raspberry Pi that I can do different things with. That's going to come into play in what I show you today. So first I'm going to open up a terminal here. We're going to take a look at our Direwolf config. So if you remember from last time, Direwolf config file is in etc. So sudo nano, my favorite text editor from the command line, etc slash direwolf.conf. Now remember, if you're on the build a pie, it's going to be in your home pie directory. So you'll just type in nano direwolf.com when you first open up a terminal. So let's jump in here. On the draws hat, we only have one audio device, but it has two channels on it. So that lets us do some pretty powerful things. But you notice here in Direwolf, it also gives you the opportunity to set up a second audio device. So in a later video, I hope to uh, leverage that with the build a pie. Anyways, let's continue in our Direwolf config here. So I have channel zero here, which is my first channel. My call there is going to be VE7 Tango Golf Zulu-1. This is all what we set up last time, 1200 baud modem. Because it's a draws hat, the uh, PTT is on a GPIO pin 12 for the left channel. Okay, now here's our channel one or second channel of our audio device. The PTT for it is on GPIO 23. The modem is still going to be 1200. My plan is to use this for my Lin BBQ setup. My call for now is going to be VE7 Tango Golf Zulu 2. I may change that SSID. We'll see here. Everything else we should be able to leave the same here. Though there is one more additional feature I would like to add here. That will be down here in the Internet Gateway section. Now last time we set it up so that it was going to do a beacon. Delay for 30 seconds from startup and then every 60 minutes it was going to send to the Internet our position and the comment which is fine if someone happens to be connected to the internet. But what happens if someone is nearby using just an HT or just their mobile rig? They will not know that there is an iGate server nearby. It won't show up on their radio unless it's somehow connected to the internet. We're going to fix that. So we're going to go up to this line first. We want to do the con command control K. As you can see down here is cut text. We'll position ourselves at the start of the line, hit Control K, and make that whole line disappear, which is fine. We want to do now Control U to uncut it, and we'll do it one more time because I effectively just want to copy this line. Now, what I'm going to do is just delete this send to line. Actually, now that I think about it, I think I want to send to equals one. Sorry, send to equals zero. I'm going to change the delay to be, let's make it 45 seconds or 40 seconds. And then every 30 minutes. So this is going to be over RF. And let's see if we can distinguish this actually via the comments. I'm going to put a separate comment for this one. Raspberry Pi draws hat split channel RF. So now we'll be able to tell which beacon made it to the internet. So let's save this. Control X. To exit, 
save modified buffer. We're going to hit Y for yes. We want to save it as ETC direwolf. And I'm going to close myself out of this uh, for my draws hat. Again, I have this AX25 icon, which is going to stop direwolf. I'm going to fire it up again. Can watch down here as I log in to APRS.fi via IG, Internet Gateway. There goes my Internet Gateway beacon, draws hat split channel. Ten seconds later. Zero L. There went my RF. So now if we check APRS.FI now, we see my station. We also see in the comment, Raspberry Pi draws hat split channel RF. So that went out over RF now. Anyone in the vicinity with an APRS radio will pick up my iGate station. Well, that's it for it today. I hope you learned something here. I hope to have another video up very soon showing how I'm integrating this now into Lin BBQ, all on the one draws hat. And then I plan on switching my focus back to the build a pie and see if we can get something similar going there. This is Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf, 7 3.